to invite Reverend Father Christopher from St. John Philip's Mary Church of Feta to join us on the stage. I am very happy to be here and also I am very proud of attending this uh, uh, fifth year of the foundation, the ceremony, the individual person has brought up to this function. It's not one year or two years. Today, as I hear from every speaker, it's the fifth year. And we five members are living in our church, five priests are living in our church. When my superior came and told me, Father, there is a function here, they will come and take you, and you are the proper person that you could go there. But I did not ask what type of a function, because these days, my dear friends, a lot of people, a lot of uh, foundation, and also the companies and uh, many hotels and uh, all those, uh, you know, who are celebrating Christmas and year-end celebrations, they invite us for blessing. But when I came and when I met the Fa Mr. Fauser and when I listened to him and he sent me some messages, I, I, I was filled with awe. And you know, people can do massive things. Because I stand before you this afternoon, the one who value education. And very much I value education. Even I have been a director of students, and I have been a professor, and also in little ways, even as my younger days, I have been teaching also the poor children without any course. So when I listen to Fausa and also the others, the massive work that it has been going on, I was really filled with uh, Oh, you know, and uh, I just returned after my doctoral studies uh, three weeks ago. And I'm going, I'm getting, I'm getting also another two appointments into universities to stay, teach. So when this man is really thinking that the children should be educated, because there are foundations you find in our own beloved land of Lanka. They may be building houses in order to get their name. They may be distributing clothes. And in these days, they are distributing a lot of gifts. And here in this hall, I see the leaders and the group that belongs to the foundation distributing books for the education. It is not for this year or next year, but they are distributing the books that's for the future, for their life, to build a good foundation in their life. And they will be the future heroes so I really marvel and I thank for inviting me and I, now I know why they send me over here because I am the proper person to really witness to this. You know, I always fight in my career as a priest. The poor only can understand the poverty. Only the poor can understand the poverty. Why? If you speak of poverty, let the poor man speak what the poverty is. There are rich people, of course, in our land. They distribute, they give in abundance. But I doubt very much whether they understand the poverty. What's the meaning of poverty? Even the politicians or the religious leaders can speak of elevating the poverty, eliminating these things, but I don't know what task that they are doing so, only remain in words. 
But here you can easily see, and I am witnessing, and I am going to tell also my fathers and others what a wonder thing, wonderful things that I have seen. So thank you very much. My blessing is there always, and you can always contact me. You got my address, because I am also in the similar way. I don't want to broadcast whatever I do, but I always for the adequation. Because I am an educated person, therefore everyone should be educated. So in that way, we can build a just, loving, peaceful society. Thank you very much. May God bless you.